life is a nightmare Man, that's the way it's dream Life is a nightmare Welcome to Today in Horrible History, your daily moment of historical misfortune. For January 28th, 2022, we're headed way back to January 28th, 904 AD, or if you prefer, 904 CE. On that date, Pope Sergius III took control of the papacy. This was in the 10th century, generally recognized as a period in Europe when disorder, murder, and bribery were standard. The 10th century was a time of chaos and discord in Europe, and especially on the Italian peninsula. This is some eight centuries before Italy became a unified country. It was a series of warring city-states, and whoever controlled the papacy had political sway and access to the money and military of the papal states. Sergius III is said to have had his two immediate predecessors murdered, those being Leo V and Antipope Christopher. You might well wonder, what is an antipope? Well, an antipope is a pope only recognized by some quarters of the church and some political powers, which later, retroactively, the church rejects as having had no authority at the time. Sergius III spent his seven years in office embroiled in scandal and as a puppet of the powerful Theophilac I Count of Tusculum. Tusculum was a small town outside of Rome, which held a lot of political sway for centuries. During his seven years in office, he is noted for having fathered a bastard child with Marozia, a corrupt figure in 10th century Italy who is said to have been the consort, mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother of a total of four popes. Their son is alleged to have been Pope John XI. Given that Catholic priests are supposed to be celibate, you do the math. Sergius was politically powerful but theologically not overly important. His main contribution on that front seems to have been a continuation of the slappy fight with the Eastern Church, based out of Constantinople, over a concept called the philoque. One church insisted that the Holy Spirit was equally sprung from God the Father and God the Son, whereas the other church insisted that the Holy Spirit had but one source, the Father. In the meantime, the average European just wanted enough food and for the pain to stop. Sergius III died in the year 911, which seems about right. He was succeeded by Pope Anastasius III, who, according to some accounts, was also an illegitimate son of his. And why not at that point if we're just doing whatever? According to the Catholic Encyclopedia, Sergius III was just fine, a normal priest doing a good job. Of course, according to the Catholic Encyclopedia, all sorts of things were just fine. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Today in Horrible History. Remember that after a brief visit to the channel, the rest of your day can only seem better by comparison. Life is a nightmare And that's the way it's dream. Life is a nightmare